This is the story of a small planet in space called Earth. Today, it has mighty oceans, scorched deserts, and frozen wildernesses. It supports a multitude of diverse creatures and is home to more than six billion people and their technological civilization. But how did all this come about? Where do we come from? Until recently, Earth and its life forms were a mystery. Like a huge unpainted canvas, little was known about the origin of Earth and its inhabitants. But today we have a rough idea of what happened. It began with a bang. About 12 billion years ago, scientists think, an extraordinary event occurred. From a singular explosion, the universe was born. In those first moments, intensely hot hydrogen and helium raced outward, thinning, cooling, and clumping into vast organized structures. Within a few billion years, countless galaxies had emerged, each one containing hundreds of billions of stars, constantly changing in cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. In one of these galaxies, about five billion years ago, one average-sized star, our sun, captured in its gravitational field the gas and dust that would become nine planets. One of these worlds was Earth. Earth's surface back then must have been a barren, hellish place. Intensely radioactive, it was also bombarded with debris from space and disrupted by volcanoes from within. Over millions of years, gases from volcanic eruptions accumulated into a thin atmospheric veil that enabled a crucial ingredient to form, water. In time, the atmosphere became saturated and it rained. It rained and it rained. Liquid water collected into lakes and oceans, dissolving minerals from the rocks. The chemical elements essential for life, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen, were now in place. What was needed was a way of combining them. Perhaps the energy came from lightning. Whatever it was, energy managed to arrange these chemical ingredients in just the right way to make long molecules like proteins and DNA. By about three and a half billion years ago, a dramatic change had occurred on Earth. There was now life on the planet. At the start, life evolved slowly. Simple bacteria like this had the planet to themselves for more than two billion years. Some microbes gave off oxygen, which slowly built up in the atmosphere. Eventually, more complex life forms emerged, based on the same molecular machinery. Once established in the oceans, life spread to the land. The thickened atmosphere provided warmth, oxygen, and protection for even more complex life. Forests grew, and insects flew. Flowers bloomed, and much, much more. A half billion years ago, an enormous diversity of life came forth at rapid pace. And yet mammals were few, for this was the age of reptiles. By about 150 million years ago, one type of reptile had become dominant, the dinosaur.
These monstrous creatures ruled life on Earth for 100 million years. Having 25-ton hulks on land and huge wingspans in the air, the fearsome dinosaurs roamed the planet with skill and power. But then about 65 million years ago, something happened that caused an abrupt end to their reign. Most likely, an asteroid hit the Earth, creating a global catastrophe. The effect was dramatic. Not just dinosaurs, but a sizable fraction of all life forms were extinguished. The dinosaur apocalypse was only one of many mass extinctions. The fossil record shows numerous species evolved and thrived only to be wiped out by some cause or another. Over 99% of all species which evolved are extinct today. But every time an extinction happens, it's as if nature begins anew. Novel creatures suddenly emerge, filling the lands and oceans once more. During times of great change, the motor of evolution quickens. <laughs> 